this was the frame I've had since I was 10. As you can see, things have moved on massively. I mean, look at the size of that pouch. You know, it's such a tough draw compared to this, this stuff nowadays, you know. Um, these, these pegs are ones I nicked from my mum's washing line <laughs> when I was a kid. Turned them around the other way and taped them on. Um, all the tapes were worn off the bottom from getting stones out as a kid, you know, and um, digging stones out of the fire. So, yeah, things have moved on massively. I mean, we've got a, a, a small range of different elastics here. I mean, this, this here is 0.45, which means it's 0.45 of a millimetre thick. Um, so when you obviously cut that down to a, a certain taper, um, it's only a competition band really. You know, you'd shoot a very light taper with that, probably small eight, eight millimetre steel balls, nine mil is probably a bit much for it. Um, then you move up to a 0.65, which is 0.65 of a millimetre thick. Again, I think that's, that's sort of a light hunting band. You'd be good for sort of nine and a half mil steel with that. Um, depending on the cut again, you know, the wider you go, obviously the more power it's got. Uh, moving up again, this is what I use all the time, pretty much 0.7 mil red precise. Again, the more power you want, the wider you make the bands, and you know, you've got a limit to how wide you can go. Uh, I find this stuff, there's no need for anything to go over 25, 20, which is 25 mil taper from the top down to 20 at the bottom there. And then, as I say about things progressing, this is actually a cold resistant band. So what happens in cold temperatures, uh, these don't perform as well, the, the, the power drops on them. So this is actually designed to resist that. So under 10, 10 degrees centigrade, this band won't lose any, any performance. But over that, it suffers. So under 10, I'd always use that. I mean, the, the colder it gets, I think the better it performs because it's got a nice light draw it, and it snaps back quick. You're talking about target shooting and, and hunting. What is the compromise really? Is it, is what I'm well, there's a trade-off. There's a trade-off. I mean, if you're looking to shoot competition, you're not going to want a heavy band, because the heavier the band, the heavier the draw, you know, the more likely that your hand's going to shake, you're not going to get a clean release. So if you shoot a real light band, you know, you've got a light draw, you're going to be more accurate. Um, but of course, you know, it, it doesn't translate to hunting. You, you don't want to go and use a light setup with a small, small steel ball to try and shoot a bird at 30 yards or a rabbit at 30 yards and expect a clean kill. So you need to up the power and obviously up, up the, uh, the weight of the ball. <laughs> 